Iowa CA100. It takes five screws to remove the rear of it from the rear. And the, there's the radio. It's on, plugged in, and playing. It's playing the CD right at the moment. Now, I wanted to show the front of it. Now, let me show the front of it again. Just hold it steady so you can see it and can focus. Okay, great. So, <clears throat> and the speakers, okay, here are the, here are the original pieces that go to the front. You must remove those first from the front, and then you remove the five screws, and then this is what it looks like in the back. Now, I have to do this because I wanted to see what's on in the inside of this before I ship it off. So there it is. It looks like there and here. Now I have not disassembled this anything more than um, opening this. And I was able to um, clean the <coughs> selector switch for the line in radio and I can't remember what's on the bottom. Cassette or tape, I guess that'd be like that. Okay, so this is the radio. Let me turn the radio up now. I do not have the original speakers plugged in, which are those there, because the speakers are blown. Uh, <clears throat> however, I have run the speakers' wires over to this unit. This unit is not powered, but the speakers are being here. Let me just show you in the back if I can, just ever so quickly. See the wires that go over here to. See, whoops. Okay, there's the that's a CD input, <clears throat> and there are the wires going to um, going to these. Okay, all right, too much fun. All right, so all right, so now let me just show you briefly how it sounds. Okay, Let's see here. That's the radio. The tuner radio. So the radio tunes, it comes in stereo. Okay, and that's the tape. There's a CD player, which is down there. Okay, and let me just bounce that through because I don't want to sell any music, so just see. That'll be the next song. Let me zip it through and see if I can play a little bit of it. Okay, great. So here's the inside of it, and it does that. And uh, there we go. There's a little stereo effect for you. Okay. To the other side. Great. Not using any microphones, but this is what I was doing was that to here. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't sell that song, but let's see here. Oops, that's the tape. Radio. Okay, enough of that. Anyhow, <clears throat> the tape deck, there's the main drive belt. Let's see if I can show, okay, I have this set up here, sitting on a battery. Let me see if I can gently pick this up and rotate it. Will it stay there? Good. <clears throat> and show you up underneath that the main drive belt is gone. There it is. There, I just released it. I've never done that before, but it just... Anyway, it broke, so that's all I know there. So I was only able to get to these two, which is the balance and the volume. These two are hidden by the, this is the bass and this is the treble. They both work, but I was only able to get to it because the circuit board is, and I'm not taking this thing anymore apart. I just wanted to ensure that there is a good stereo sound effect um, <clears throat> in this unit before I ship it off. And I just wanted to show the 
that um, oh and if you if I was to remove it at all nicely clipped or plugs and connectors and such okay that's my review of the internal of this and when you do this you must have the you know the proper tools the proper stuff there and plenty of air okay and I don't know what else I can show you it's just here I'll make this thing famous there I gotta ship that off here too there are the original speakers for this unit here which are on top <coughs> and alley uh, that this okay all right good day bye bye hope you enjoyed too long